Introducing and bonding guinea pigs is no easy task, especially when they're both adults and are male guinea pig. In fact, many people say that it's impossible, but I am here to tell you that that's not true. As someone who has successfully bonded my single adult male guinea pig popcorn with a pair of adult male guinea pigs mochi and coffee, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Let's try to ensure tips to make the bonding process easier and more successful. I'll also be answering some of your burning questions like how long does it take to bond guinea pigs? Welcome or welcome back to the IC Cinnamon channel, and as usual, I put a lot more in-depth info and links in the article format in the description. Without further ado, let's dive in. Now when you're introducing your new guinea pig, usually you're either in one of these situations. The first one is you took your current guinea pig to an animal shelter rescue, and after a quick introduction section there with the guinea pigs in the shelter, you took your new furry friend home. For those of you who don't know what exactly I'm talking about, most animal shelters and rescues offer instant pairing. That means they have a dedicated area for guinea pig bonding. And because there are quite a few single guinea pigs in animal shelters, when you're bonding a new guinea pig, make sure to bring your current piggy with you as well. That way, the rescue can introduce a new guinea pig friend to the other piggy in the bonnet enclosure and see if they are compatible with each other. This process only takes about 2-5 to five minutes per pig, and in my experience, this is the best way to almost guarantee your guinea pigs will be bonded eventually. Adding to that, having an expert on this topic can ensure both guinea pigs are safe and determine if the guinea pigs are the right match for each other. The second one is you already found a new furry friend or friends and took them to your home before your current pig has met it. This is how Mochi and Kobe came to our family too. And even though the introduction will be a little bit harder, that doesn't mean it's impossible to bond them. If you didn't take your guinea pig for a fat chat after adopting or purchasing it, then remember to quarantine it for about 2 weeks to make sure it doesn't show any signs of diseases or mites, etc. Most shelters and rescues do a good job informing you about their health and have feds in the shelters. But anyways, let's get back to the topic. Before I introduce your guinea pigs, put their cages next to each other for the first few days so they can get to know each other's scent and interact or chat with each other without any chance of harming each other because, well, they're separated. This really helps the actual bonding process because when they see each other, instead of thinking, who the hell is this guy and why am I stuck with him here? They will more likely think, oh, this is the guy who keeps sticking his foot out when he's sleeping. Why am I stuck with him here? I'll just jump straight into it. Your bonding area needs to be a safe enclosed space that doesn't have any guinea pig scent on it, aka a neutral area. It's very important because if a guinea pig has already been to the bonding place, then your piggy would have left its scent on it and marked the area as its territory. But the place your bonding area guinea pigs already has a piggy scent on it, at least clean it out and remove the scent. Now these are some things you should and shouldn't have in the bonding area. Make sure the space is large enough for your guinea pigs to run around freely. Some people use a guinea pig proof bathtub, but I prefer cleaning my playpen and playmat to get rid of any piggy scent as the bonding area. You'll also need hay. And quick tip, don't put it in the hay feeder. Instead, put a small pile of hay on the ground where the guinea pigs can access it from all directions so they won't bite over the hay. Next are water bottles to keep the piggies hydrated. You'll also need multiple hideouts that have at least two sides, meaning a guinea pig can go into the hideout one way and go out the other. This gives an escape for the guinea pigs when they're chasing each other around. Of course, fresh vegetables to distract the guinea pigs when they're fighting too much without interfering. I like to sprinkle some in the playpen. Next is a towel to cover the guinea pigs if they're fighting too aggressively. I'll talk more on that later. Last but not least is a guinea pig first aid kit. Optional but highly recommended, you know, just in case something happens. I made a video on how to make your own budget-friendly guinea pig first aid kit, so make sure to check it out. If you've watched my previous guinea pig routine video, you know that the guinea pigs were separated because they were fighting. So you can say that this is kind of like a rebonding. Keep in mind that my guinea pigs already know each other well, so it'll be much easier to rebond. So this video is great for people who are bonding new guinea pigs, and also people whose guinea pigs spot and are trying to reintroduce them. 
Anyways, you want the time gap between letting each kid pay out to the funding error to be as little as possible, because then they don't have a head start on marking their set. If you're bonding a new kitten pit with a pair, I suggest introducing the new piggy with one piggy from the pair at a time, then introducing them together. As you can see, the kitten pigs are already chasing each other around, and they will fight to determine who becomes the leader of the group. Some behaviors that will happen when introducing kitten pigs to show their dominance are rumbling, chasing each other, That's sniffing. Mounting. Teeth chattering. Lifting their head high. And yawning. Supervise the guinea pigs and don't interfere unless their fight is getting intense. By that I mean if they draw blood or pull each other's hair out. Or else let them chase each other around and fight. It's not true. I know, I know, it's heartbreaking to see a precious guinea pigs fight. I admit, I did interfere a few times. If you feel the need to stop their introduction and using veggies or hay to distract them doesn't work, you can use a towel and lay it on top of both the guinea pigs, covering their side of vision and temporarily confusing them. Then you have to put them back to their original cages separated from each other for at least 24 hours before reintroducing them. Usually one or two bonding sessions of around 8 hours each time will make the piggies get used to each other and not fight. But for the best, make sure that your guinea pigs don't fight for an extended period of time before actually putting them in the same living space. In my experience, bonding my 3 male guinea pigs definitely took more time than bonding 2 guinea pigs. For me, it took 6 days. However, the number will vary from age, personality, and environment. Remember, if you have any uncertainties or questions, to ask your vet, because they know the best. A good indicator of the guinea pig bonding being successful is when they stop fighting for one whole day or when it's clear which guinea pig has become the leader of the pack. This means that they got used to each other and no longer see each other's presence as a threat. If that's the case, great job! Your guinea pigs are now bonded. Also, some signs that your guinea pigs are getting along super duper well include that they're not limited to eating together, lots of noise and interaction, playful chasing, nose touching, and grooming each other. If your guinea pigs do any of these behaviors, congratulations. That means your piggies not only accept each other, but they enjoy each other's company too. Of course, your guinea pigs not fighting is already a huge deal, so pat yourself in the back. If repeated bonding still doesn't work, or one of your piggies keeps bullying the other, that might mean that they're not compatible with each other. In that case, it might be better for them to live separately. You should contact your vet or animal shelter for advice on your choice of whether to keep them single, find another piggy to pair, or other choices. Introducing and bonding guinea pigs is not an easy task. But with the right environment, patience, time, and hard work, nothing is impossible. You got this. Please let me know if you have any more questions in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!